Hi everyone, this is my Breitling Super Ocean I bought new back in 2003. That makes it 20 years old. Um, it's my favorite watch. I want to do, you know, a, a video on it. What I consider a video anyway. So I, I just keep it rolling. I don't edit or anything like that. But I just love talking watches. So, anyways, so this is, uh, like I said, the Super Ocean. Um, the case is 1500 meters water resistant, uh, 42 millimeters in diameter, 15 millimeters high, um, screw down uh, back, screw down crown. The sapphire crystal is anti reflective on both sides. It is 3.7 millimeters thick. And like I said, the screw down back, that's 3.5 millimeters thick. So you're talking pretty, pretty beefy little guy here. Um, it's got the helium escape valve. The bezel is stainless steel with a stainless steel insert. It's got stainless steel little um, screws holding it down for added security. 120 clicks. It's got a pip with the um, with the loom. Um, the case is polished almost everywhere except on the back. It's got the uh, the Breitling logo with the wings and anchor. Um, it's got all kinds of information. It looks like it might be in French. I'm not sure. Uh, manufacturer in Switzerland, 1500 meters, you know, official certified chronometer, all that good stuff. Yep. So the dial is sunburst blue. Um, when I originally, when I bought this, um, I think they had black. <clears throat> coral which looked like an orange they had a yellow I think and I had to order this blue special um, and I'm glad I did um, it's got Arabic numerals as you can see it's got um, luminous hour markers the the numerals are luminous too um, it's got minute markers it's got look a two and a half minute marker too it looks like right and it's got you know all kinds of text and um, the date at three o'clock. Um, it's got the Breitling wing, which was wings and uh, anchor logo. I, I think it's white gold. Um, uh, the second hand's got pretty handsome square with a loom at the end of it uh, with a red tip. That's pretty cool, huh? Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. The uh, I'm gonna flip my notes over here. The bracelet is uh, 316L stainless steel. Also, it's got um, you know polished links on the outside, and it looks like brushed links on the inside. Uh, polished on the outside of the outside links. Um, it's it's held down with screws, screw links. The inside is a nice uh, satin finish or brush maybe. Um, it's looking a little beat up. I think it's been three years since I got it serviced. Um, yeah. So, uh, Tim at Watchbox, he explained it much better than I can, but he said that there's uh, space between the links, and that keeps hairs from getting pulled, and it also gets air in there, and sand and dirt wash and sweat wash out, and um, keeps you from your wrist from sweating, which is a good thing, of course. Um, Okay, so the back here, the clasp, yeah, it's stamped. This this is a little, seems a little flimsy. I never had a problem with it, but, and it's signed. You know, it's got the logo, and then it's got Breitling signed here, polished all around. This is like, got a frosting. I'm not sure if, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if that's the way it always was, or one of the services did that. Anyway, so the inside is, it's either thick stamped or it's milled, but that's all polished, real nice, uh, sturdy, um, and it's signed. Um, it doesn't have, you know, the quick just like, adjusts like uh, the newer watches have. It has these micro adjusts here. Um, it also has a polished um, diver's extension. It snaps out. <laughs> you st I thought it snapped out pretty easy, but I guess not. See, that'll give you added uh, over the wetsuit function. I don't dive, but I like a good sturdy watch. So, so yeah, it all snaps into place really well. Nice. 
Um, lastly, uh, let's get into the movement. You know, it's that Breitling 17. People know it pretty well. They know what it's based on. I, I have it in quotes here, constructively identical with ETA 2824-2. People know that. I like ETA. Um, this one's 20 years old. I have a Hamilton that's 23 years old, I think, with an ETA 2824. Um, when I see that on a watch, I, 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 uh, I breathe a sigh of relief, to be honest. Um, I, I know it's dependable. I know it's not going to cost a lot of money to to repair if something did happen. Um, so anyways, yeah, it's 25.6 millimeters in diameter, 4.06 millimeters high, pretty thick movement, 25 joules, 28,800 vibrations per hour, Nivorox 1 flat balance spring, uh, monometallic balance, uh, Edatron index, uh, adjustment, uh, inkle block shock absorber, ball bond rotor in both directions, 42 hour power reserve. Um, it's nicely finished too, um, and chronometer rated. So, uh, yeah, it's been dependable for me off, you know, plus one, plus two seconds a day. Um, when I had it like six or seven years, it went plus nine, and that's when I brought it in for a, I got a mosquito trying to bite me here. <laughs> for, I brought that in for a service. Um, yeah, so why don't I put it on and um, you're out in nature. This morning my uh, my dog, I had her on the leash and she tried chasing deer across the driveway and then there were, uh, to the right of me here, there were turkeys earlier too. So it's, it's always an adventure. Um, so I got, a, I got a picture I Xerox a while back of the movement so you can see you know you can see that it's kind of tough here you know nicely finished on top of the plates here they got that circular graining and this you can't see because it's black and white but it's gold filled um, but all down the plates here have that you know circular graining and stuff and um, well there's a there's a website um, uh, YouTube channel. I'm sorry red dead restoration. I think they did a couple restoration projects on uh, this uh, Breitling caliber 17 and you know they pulled it apart and you could see nice components and stuff like that now where the wheels were They had that non finished or kind of sandblasted finish But you know it, it, it you know it is an ETA so you know you're not We're not talking you know paddock for leap here um, but it's a good solid movement so yeah I, I took out my uh, my box here it's got all the stuff here uh, the um, certificate chronometer certificate and uh, instructions I think that orange thing is for when you get the free hat and the actual links and it's got the medallion there for certificate <laughs> uh, here's the the box and there's the thing from the service center thing for the thing for the uh, bezel protector um like i said it's been 20 years so i'm gonna i'm gonna have a drink um not this morning though i don't drink in the morning but and it's not going to be single malt scotch it's going to be mount gay extra old um that's my favorite drink might as well be my favorite drink from my favorite watch um there's another YouTube channel. I think his name is Jason Darby. I haven't watched it in a while, but he did a excellent review on this. And um, if you get a chance, check it out. Anyways, so I'll try to show you in wrist shot in a better light here. Um, yeah, it's been a dependable watch. Um, I've had other watches, um, you know, Rolex. Uh, it, it, it's my favorite though. I love it. Um, like I said, the the bracelet breathes and I've never had a problem with it. It's been accurate, dependable. I wear it with a suit when I probably shouldn't. I probably look like a tool. I don't care. <laughs> um, I've worn it doing yard work. I try not to, but you know, sometimes you forget and yeah, whatever, you know, you, you, you know the story. Um, Anyways, looks like fall's here in full bloom. We're at, you know, like 
I think it's third week of October, maybe maybe until the fourth. Um, you know, before you know it, the snow will be coming. It's kind of a murky day. Yeah. I love this watch. I think I'll have it the rest of my days. Okay, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope everyone's healthy and safe out there. Um, take care, huh?